Hi everyone. Uh, in this particular session, I am going to show you how to provision a single node Oracle eBusiness instance uh, release 12.210. Right? You can use like a source. Suppose you are trying to do as a as a lift and shift. You can use this particular instance. Right? Uh, so how do you do? Using you need to go to the marketplace and there you have 12.210. So for this, I am taking uh, as uh, you know, the source as 12.210. There are two 12.28, 12.29, 12.211. So better to take 12.210. I tried 2.211, but had some issues. So better to take 12.210, uh, which comes with the uh, 19C, uh, no database, right? So just install a public subnet. So once uh, you can provision, you can work on it. Uh, you can also use like a source, like a source database, which can be like if you want to do a lift and shift, you can use. It creates a file system for you, right? It creates a file system uh, for you. So how do you do this? It's very interesting. Right, uh, so you go here and go to you know marketplace. Go to marketplace, all applications. Right, and search for Oracle e business. Right, uh, so here be careful. You know this one I had some issues. So yeah, this is the one. You know, this is one you can use. This is one you want. You can have 12.29, 12.28, and all. But in our case, I'm selecting you know 12.2 this one. And select the compartment what you want. You know, select the compartment what you want. Now you just say launch. So here you can give like Oracle e business release 12.2. Then uh, cut release 12.2. Uh, you know instance okay so just I'll just want to add uh, yeah yeah this is the one uh, then this is the compartment and uh, here uh, let it be in AD1 no problem and now uh, yeah, this is the image uh, yeah this is looks fine 1 and 16 GB fine bandwidth is fine yeah here we need to change the network thing select your existing network uh, select to the network uh, network uh, what select your network so let it be in this VCN again change your network right and uh, select in EBS uh, subnet e business source sub uh, subnet so this is the place where you will where we are going to do it is temporary one later on if you want to delete it also you can delete it then go down and upload the the public key right after that you just have to say create so it will take like uh, a co couple of minutes not more than 5 to 10 minutes and uh, once it is instance is uh, done you know we can work on it in the meantime maybe i will cover uh, what are the other things what we are going to do so that uh, just to be so once it is completed you can log in by providing the key and you log into the system and uh, the first thing is uh, you know you connect as root and you execute the update host file uh, this is an optional item what are marked in low you need to do change the host name to a logical name host name of a logical you know of the uh, host name of the virtual machine so host name is good apps.example.com then you connect to oracle first you start the database run then you run the application environment file you run the script to change the password of the sysadmin then from the front end, uh, the egress rule, the egress rule you are going to release 8000 port you need to release. Then you run this configuration step, you know, you run this particular step. So here you are going to provide uh, all the all the details uh, that this is the, uh, you know, the, what is your public host name, what you want and the example.com 8000 and the what is the database is SID. So it is going to ask for the apps password, right? And after that, that's all. That's all what we do. So then here you uh, in the in the e system in the host file host file you make this entry you know you make the you know the make the make the entry in the host file so this one you can just let me update it it has to come here via a host file so like this yes that's all what you have to do now you connect to sudo su.oracle and start the application right you start the application right and you have to connect 
so in order to connect what you do you have to connect like this so connect as sysadmin sysadmin so if required you need to release this ports but uh, you know sometimes you may not require sometimes require if required only you do this right so after that you should be able to log in and yeah so this is the one how you are able to log in and you are able to see this right so these are the steps what we need to you know uh, do so this is the reference link what you need to verify right reference link so just need to mark it right so these are the steps uh, involved in you know provisioning you know in provisioning this so we just wait for the instance to be ready let us see where is that okay still in still in processing so let us pause the session so the provisioning is been completed uh, but you know there are a couple of activities what you need to do it is not like uh, oracle business 1213 where application was started database was started here everything is shut down we need to start it and also there are some configuration steps so copy this so in order to connect to putty what you do you have to connect like this and uh, go browse and uh, app whatever is your thing and th this way you you log in right in this way you log in right i'm using a, another uh, a putty like m remote engine it's more flexible so that's the reason why i'm using it i am already logged in so the first step what you do is you have to connect to root change the then follow the whatever is mentioned in my documentation so blindly you can follow whatever are marked in lo i most of my uh, documents if you see uh, everything will be marked in lo so the first step is you have to update the host file update the host file okay this will take for some time right a lot of things are happening <laughs> all right so the next step is uh, you set the host name you don't need to run the yum update that is an optional one and now you connect to oracle and start the uh, database right you start the database so once database is started now you run the environment file yeah we have to wait for the database to be up right database is up now you run the environment file right just run this command just to update the sysadmin password just give the same password so that's that's about the passwords and uh, yeah so we also have to release the port number 8000 so for that what you need to do is you have to go here uh, go to the source database uh, source the, the whatever is the subnet and go to uh, that's default security list and see that the 8000 port is been uh, released right so the next step is we need to run this uh, config web entry so run this so it will ask you for http or https you just give http and uh, give my apps the whatever the domain in my uh, just i'm entering example.com as mentioned by oracle uh here it is 8000 and the database is ebs db so it is going to do few activities and then it'll ask you for the apps password so everything has to be done meticulously in order to access uh, this oracle e business enter the apps password so it will run auto config so this will take for a while the auto config is uh, completed successfully now you have to make an entry in the no now you need to make an entry in your host file 
so what you do you just go to the host select the notepad open it right so now what you have to do is first we need to know uh, yeah first we need to know the uh, virtual cloud network identify where it is the, the compute instance right uh, so the compute instance is this uh, this is the IP so now what you do you go to the host file you go to the host file and make the entry right you make the entry like this so that is the first step what you do and now you have to st start the application so this will take for a while so meanwhile I will stop the will pause the session so the application has been started and uh, there you go now you can click the URL you can click the URL and go to IE let's hope it works yeah, I'm thinking there is maybe uh, some problem with the host file but let me see yes yeah, so, oh no worries so everything looks good so now you log in as uh, sysadmin and sysadmin right you log in as sysadmin and sysadmin so the for the first time you get this particular screen so what you need to do is you need to check and uh, you know you have to unlock them right and you have to proceed them I think I don't have this particular screenshot uh, yeah you have to say unlock and proceed Yeah, so I just capture the screen. Right, so we are logging in. All this all looks good. So here is the URL. Unlock and uh, you know proceed. It's taking for a while. Oh, okay. Here I have finished my changes, and proceed. So now again it will ask you for the sysadmin sysadmin Yeah so that's all what I uh, So that's about it so I will just paste this also In our link Which is missing so then you can open the forms and you can work so this is pretty much how you install Oracle eBusiness from the marketplace. Uh, so, right, uh, you know, um, you can use like a source for the lift and shift. It's there in the marketplace. You can select the image what you what you want. Uh, I have provided all the you know screenshots. Select the image and provision it. Right, you provision it. You get the IP address. Yeah, you update the host file, right? And you do all these steps which are marked in yellow. You need to do, and uh, not a big thing, but yeah, uh, even the first time you try. But this I've been doing like ten or fifteen times, so it's pretty easy uh, for me. So that's about this. Uh, so thanks for watching.